Hello everyone, this is Stephanie Clark Ali. I'm a graduate student, illustration major at Savannah College of Art and Design. This presentation is featuring contemporary artist Lynette Yayotam Payachi. She's a British painter born in 1977 in London and is of Ghanaian descent. Lynette Yayotam Payachi she studied at Central St. Martin's College of Art and Design and later attended Thameth School of the Arts. She earned her Master of Arts from the Royal Academy in 2003. Bayachi is known for her large scales of figurative oil paintings that are usually done on canvas or coarse linen. Her work has contributed to the Renaissance in painting black figures and is often presented in solo exhibitions. Much of Lynette Yayotam Bayachi's paintings are figurative with human figures, characters that relate to the real world in gestures and emotions. Ideas for her paintings are prompted by a variety of sources from observation found in images, memories, literature, and throughout the history of painting. Many of Biachi's compositions are often filled with muted hues accompanied by strokes of vibrant forms neatly placed within the frame of a small gesture, noting a particular change or directional movement for the light. Her firm brush strokes exhibit an exploration of skill portraying intentional layers of paint. She describes her work as ahistorical, with little reference to particular time periods through the use of timeless clothes, muted color palettes, and an absence of references to her subject's social class. I find that many times, her subjects are gazing. Um, the stare in her subjects are not always facing front. There is an expression of deep thought within the eyes of her work that engages not only the subjects, but also the viewer. In this work, which is titled The High Mind and Disrebute, you see two men gazing at each other with one man playing the guitar for the other. Looking closely, you can see the start and stop of her breast strokes, which seem to be filled with equal weight. Direct attention goes to the contrast of the background, which is in red and a shade, shade of clay, which introduce a sweeping diagonal cut onto the canvas, creating a sense of separation or space. This line creates hierarchy in the composition relating to the direction and perception the men are placed on the canvas. Let's bring our attention to the feature art composition titled A Whistle and a Wish. I can't say I chose this art composition. It somehow selected me and pulled me into the pattern of line texture from the thin visible brush strokes. They appear quick and imperfect, yet are perfectly settled marks, helping to balance the advancement of the subject from the pool of darkness. This 29 by 27 oil painting invites the viewer through the appearance of a one-eyed gaze from a woman. She actually has both eyes open, but if you look, the right eye is a little bit wider. Her downward stare takes us to small jagged stabs of ribbon, suggesting the smoke from the cigarette. There's a sense of release that you understand from the facial expression of the woman, a sense of pleasure. 
The pose on the canvas speaks narratively like a page from a novel or poem, carrying an air, an airy sound. There is a relationship of the dark muted background bringing warm tones of the subject to the forefront while projecting the context of blues and greens highlighting the sweater, as well as the playful puzzle of colors around the neckline highlighting the composition's midpoint. This musical pattern unites to form the fabric of the collar folds. The value contracts of lights and darks surround the face, neck, and hand where the gentle hold of the cigarette intentionally sweeps us up to a reverse deep breath. In the end, the beautiful manipulation of the palette completes a winning effect for Lynette Yayadam Bayachi and is what I like to call harmony. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye.